It's Tech Tuesday time again, and today we're gonna to be taking a closer look at the race timer function and how it's gonna make you faster. The race timer is primarily used in forms of racing where the car is launched from a stationary start position. Drag racing is a perfect example of this. Now, it'd be reasonable to think that when you're trying to get from point A to point B as fast as possible, you'd wanna have as much power as the engine can make all the time. But this isn't always the case. Sometimes we need to hold that power back until the car's mass has been accelerated to a point where the tires can handle it. Managing engine power is often how races are won or lost. In order to accurately control engine power in a drag racing application, we can map a range of conditions against a timer that starts when the race starts. We call this the race timer, and it starts counting from zero when a selectable condition is met. Something like stepping off the foot brake, dropping the clutch, or releasing the trans brake. This means the timer starts at exactly the same time as the race starts. We can then map out a range of functions depending on what we want the engine to do. For example, let's talk about a turbocharged car. We might want the car to leave the start line with 15 pounds of boost pressure, then one second into the run, target 25 pounds. This will give the car some time to pick up road speed or momentum before we target a final boost pressure of 50 PSI, say two seconds into the run and we cross our fingers. While that's all happening, we might also want to be mapping an intake air bleed to maintain turbo speed or reduce boost pressure below what's mechanically possible. Another job for the race timer. In a nitrous example, we might want the first nitrous kit to enable as soon as the car takes off. The second kit maybe three tenths into the run, the third kit fifth tenths, and then the fourth kit to turn on at one second. The corresponding fuel and ignition corrections would also be applied and could even be mapped against the race timer. Now, keep in mind the race timer has also got a pause condition that can be set up against a channel of your choice. I find throttle position to be pretty handy. This way, if the driver comes below a programmed throttle position or off the throttle, the race timer will pause until the driver gets the car under control gets back on the throttle, and then this way the race timer doesn't run away and activate functions that the driver and the car aren't ready for yet. Now, I'm using these examples to give an idea of how the race timer works, but it's not limited to just boost control or on-off nitrous conditions. The possibilities are endless because any tuning table axes can be mapped against the race timer to get the outcome you're looking for. Some other more advanced examples of putting the race timer to good use could include stuff like CO2 boost control with target wastegate pressures, uh, progressive nitrous control, ignition timing or fuel corrections versus time. Uh, that's a good one because it allows the racer to make quick and easy adjustments against their logs at the track but without having to go through the full tuner. Uh, gearbox shifter control, so shift first to second or second to third versus time or time and RPM. Uh, you could control suspension, shock lift and rebound um, or if you're a mechanically injected guy with an ignition only Haltec VMS, you could control the high speed lean out solenoids versus the race timer. What about an automatic transmission converter pressure dump valve or an auto trans converter lock up solenoid? If we look at the Haltech torque management strategy, we could use the race timer as a table axis to map drive shaft RPM versus time and engine RPM versus time. Then depending on the amount of error, if the car's accelerating too slowly or braking traction, you can make the corrections depending on how far along in the race timer you are. We can also use the race timer as a safety feature. We can use it to disable nitrous stages, shut down the engine, or even deploy a parachute if for some reason the driver hasn't been able to get to it in time. In summary, the race timer is a powerful tool that can be used in the mapping of a huge range of engine features and functions. In a sport like drag racing, where the difference between a win and a loss can be measured in thousands of a second, mapping out the run versus time makes perfect sense. That's it for Tech Tuesday, see you next week.